What's up? You're in the kitchen with Chef Carl Andre, and today I'll be showing you guys how to make raspberry cheesecake chia seed pudding. Boy, that was a tongue twister. I'm gonna put my spin on it and show you how to get down in your kitchen. All right, so we're gonna do my favorite part, the mise en place. Cameraman, follow me. I have some uh, coconut milk, coconut cream. I have some chia seeds. I have cinnamon, vanilla. I have uh, some stevia. Um, cream cheese. I have one bag of frozen raspberries. Then I have some jars here that we're going to use later. I have all my tools, a half a cup, quarter cup, one eighth of a teaspoon, and I have a spatula and I have my attachment for the burr mixer and we'll get into that in a second. All right. So now that we know all our ingredients and what we're going to do, the first thing I want to do is I want to measure out my chia seeds because I'm going to use the same measuring cup. So while it's dry, I have a half a cup in here so i'm gonna place into the big bowl make sure you get a nice big bowl because the chia seeds uh will bloom blossom so um you'll need room for expansion so then we're going to shake up the coconut stuff the coconut cream it is there we go i was surprised i didn't know which one it was so we have the coconut cream we have a half a cup that we're adding in oh, i should have opened up both shake it up remember you want to shake this up um this was in a can and i actually just took it out of the can to make it easier because i knew i would have leftovers but when you do get it in a can you make sure that you mix it up well and uh before you use it and you put it in your reusable container make sure that you shake it up as well so now i have the milk and that's a half a cup in here and if you guys haven't noticed i'm a bit of a scatterbrain I forgot to show you guys the coconut water, which should have been right here as well. So we are going to take one fourth of coconut water and add it in as well. There we go. All right, got that taken care of. Put my lid on so I don't spill it. So I'm going to now do the dry ingredients and take the one eighth of cinnamon, just to give it a little extra pizzazz, a little extra flavor. Then I'm going to take one tablespoon of vanilla and add it in. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to mix this up just a little bit. See how it's all thick and sticking together? You want to make sure that you just kind of mix it up as you're working. So that way you don't get any lumps or clumps or anything like that. We still got to add in some stevia. So just make sure that all of it is just getting mixed as we work. Because it's already starting to soak up the liquid and getting ready to go. So I'm going to add in three packets of uh, the stevia in the raw. You can find these in the sugar baking aisle. Uh, they have it. I like to mix it up sometimes. I use the liquid. Sometimes I use the powder form. I really like this because I have a free drink trick. When you're out at a restaurant and they have these and you get some water, you get some fresh lemons, bam, you got keto lemonade. And it was for free. All right. So I'm mixing it up. So now we're going to set this off to the side and we're going to start working on our raspberry cream cheese filling. So we have one, uh, four ounces of um, cream cheese in one bag of raspberries. So the four ounces is literally just half of the block of the cream cheese that you get that's about this big. We're going to take just a splash of vanilla. There you go. That's it. Just a splash to say we did it. Then we're going to add in two more packets of the stevia. Now this part right here, you want to taste as you go to see or not if you want it sweeter. How do you want to do it? It's all up to you and your preference. Um, so for my household, we like things just a little sweet, but not too sweet. So we're going to start with two packets. And if you do not have a burr mixer, you can use a bullet. You can use a... Um, uh, a regular blender whatever you have I like to use the bird mixer because it's very convenient so I'm gonna start this with a little bit so that way I don't make a mess this part's a little noisy 
So bear with us. Look at this, all creamy. Mm. I'm moving it around to make sure that I get everything nice and incorporated. And the biggest thing I want to focus on here is making sure that the cheesecake is nicely spread out. I'm not really necessarily worried about uh, any clumps or uh, whole raspberries that are left because it gives it a little texture, makes it fun while you eat the dish. So I'm gonna get this off. So now we got it all uh, well incorporated. The cheesecake is all, uh, the cheesecake, I'm sorry, the cream cheese is all mixed in well and thorough. So I'm gonna get a spoon and I'm gonna taste it to see if this is the sweetness that I like. I think, I think I'm gonna add two more and then I think we're good. All right, we got two more in there. So I'm just gonna use this spoon, mix it all up so you guys can see. Hold on, let me, let me move over to the light. How selfish of me. Let me move all this out the way. Get all the dirty stuff out the way. Let me slow down because clearly I'm excited because I'm making strawberry, not strawberry, geez, where's my brain today? Because I'm making raspberry cheesecake chia seed pudding. So I'm all over the place. So I'm going to add this in here. Now, when you're making chia seed pudding, you wanna make sure that maybe for the first hour, you come and you stir it all around. And then maybe like the second hour, you come back, you stir it all around. Then you put a lid on it, you put it in the refrigerator, and then you just let it go overnight and you let it do its thing. And then you have a nice delicious breakfast or snack, uh, you know, whatever you wanna do, or dessert, you know, the, depending upon what you wanna eat. I like this because, you know, it's a little high in fat. You know, chia seeds, you guys know all the good, positive health benefits. Then we got a little cream cheese in there. Then, you know, we got some raspberries, so you're not feeling like you're totally being deprived on keto and, you, uh, and you're not getting any pleasures. So we mix it up. Now, I'm gonna come in here with the whisk because I wanna make sure that I don't have any clumps and I get all the clumps and the lumps out because nobody wants lumpy chia seed pudding. All right, so now we're good to go. All right, so now I'm going to wrap it up. Excuse me one second, cameraman. Let me slide through. Don't look at my messy drawer. There right. we go. I'm going to just leave this on the counter for an hour. I'm gonna come back. We're gonna stir it up. We're gonna do it together. Then once I'm done stirring it for an hour, I'm gonna put it in some little cute containers that is one serving container, ideally, and if you're really hungry, container. And then we're gonna put it in there, we're gonna throw it in the fridge, and then we're gonna come back when we eat it together. See you guys back in an hour. I'm back, it's been an hour. Our uh, raspberry cheesecake chia seed pudding has set. I'm going to do one big whisk to make sure we don't have any lumps throughout chia seed raspberry pudding. I, we tasted it, it tastes excellent. Now I used, how many packets did I use? Three, four, five, I believe, don't quote me, but that's how sweet I like it. It may be less, it may be more for you, um, not sure, but do it to what makes you happy. So now that we have everything all fluffed and mixed together, we're going to put it in these cute little one serving jars that I found. I was in Walmart late last night and I came across these and um, they seem pretty cool. So we're gonna use them. So I got two of them. And then I'll put the rest in a nice big container and just fill the jars as I need it. 
This chia seed pudding should last you about four days um, in the refrigerator, of course. So we're going to fill all this stuff up. We're going to make the biggest mess possible. And um, I'll see you guys back tomorrow when we take them out the refrigerator and we go to try them. So I'll see you guys back later. All right, so we're back. It's been 24 hours that our raspberry cheesecake chia seed pudding has set overnight in the refrigerator. Uh, I have a few toppings. Uh, I didn't really want to overdo it too much with the fruit because I'm using fruit um, in the actual recipe, but you can put whatever you want on it. You can put raspberries, blackberries, uh, what else is keto, watermelon, uh, kiwi. I mean, you can put almonds, um, unsweetened coconut, tread. I mean, sky's the limit. And if you if you were not on keto, you could put whatever fruits you want. You could put granola. I mean, you name it. You can think of it. You can dream it. You can do it. So now let's get into the raspberry cheesecake chia seed pudding. Oh, look at this little beauty. You want to make sure that you stir it all around before you go digging in. Make sure there's no clumps, no lumps, no nothing. All right. Okay, 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 starting to move around, looking real good. All right, so now I'm going to add just, a, you know, a few little almonds on there, you know, keep it, keep it snazzy. Then I'm going to get me a nice heaping amount of uh, shredded unsweetened coconut, get a little more. All right, so now this is our favorite part, especially my favorite part. Uh, we're going to go in and we're going to try it. Let's see. Mmm. Wow. Okay. A lot of raspberry. Mmm. <laughs> Surprisingly good. <laughs> wow. Okay. I get some cheesecake in there from the cream cheese. I get the nice crunchy bits from the chia seed, but they're not like rocks anymore. Then I get that ever slight sweetness from the stevia powder that we use. Then I get that nice almond coconut texture flavor going on in my mouth so it's like a big old party all right so if you guys are looking for a healthy delicious easy keto snack i suggest you guys make this raspberry cheesecake chia seed pudding thank you for watching please make sure you like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time